Karatis is the first genuinely combat-ready robot in Japan. It is a robotic exoskeleton standing about 4 meters tall, running on diesel, and is offered at a price of $1.35 million. It was first demonstrated in 2012. The inventors of the robot decided to turn their dream into reality by establishing the company Suidobashi Heavy Industry and creating their first product, the Karatis robot. This project proved to be so impressive that it attracted serious interest from the Japanese military. Currently in its present form, it may not be suitable for the Japanese military due to its limited maneuverability, delivery issues, and the robot's off-road capabilities. However, with appropriate upgrades, the first deployment of combat robots might become a reality in the near future. At present, the robot is equipped with two rocket launchers and two rotary machine guns. The machine guns can fire 6,000 rounds per minute. It moves on wheels at a speed of 5 miles per hour, approximately 8 kilometers per hour, for the civilian version, while the military version can move twice as fast. The driver controls the mechanism from inside the cockpit using a touchscreen and two joysticks responsible for the movements of Karatis's arms. Additionally, Karatis can be controlled remotely, not just from the cockpit, In Korea, the first humanoid robot pilot in the world has been created, capable of operating any human transportation. Specialists from the Korea Advanced Institute of Science and Technology unveiled the world's first humanoid robot pilot. What sets the Paibo robot apart from other similar projects is its replication of the human body, allowing it to sit in the seat of any human transportation without modification. The robot can pilot planes and cars and cabins and seats designed for humans. This promises to expedite transportation automation across various sectors in the simplest way possible. For the military, such a robot would be a real breakthrough if placed in a combat fighter. Thanks to its built-in artificial intelligence system, revolutionizing the military sector and creating the ideal soldier robot, the robot can react faster to emergency situations, retain all navigation maps and instructions, and remain unfazed in complex physical environments, such as encountering air pockets and potholes on the road. Additionally, the robot will gain experience through artificial intelligence. The robot's capabilities were tested on a flight simulator, performing taxiing, takeoff, cruising, maneuvers, and landing. In the near future, the development team intends to test the robot on a real light aircraft. The developers plan to complete the research project by 2026 and then proceed with the commercialization of PiBot. Another giant combat transformer robot created in Japan with potential military applications in the future is Arcax. Arcax is a piloted humanoid robot that can transform into different modes. The mech robot Arcax stands at a height of 4.5 meters and its weight reaches around 3.5 tons. The robot features a control cockpit, four legs, each equipped with a wheel to aid in movement. Moreover, it can transform. By pressing a button, the pilot can easily expand or contract the platform's wheelbase. The actual mechanism is made from an alloy of iron and aluminum, while the outer shell is crafted from fiber-reinforced plastic. The robot can be controlled using two joysticks, three large monitors, and various pedals inside the cockpit, equipped with a total of 26 cameras for navigation. It is reported that in a standing position, Arcax can reach a maximum speed of 2 km per hour, while with the wheelbase extended, it can achieve speeds of up to 10 km per hour. The mechanism is equipped with functional arms with articulated fingers that the pilot can use to lift objects weighing up to 15 kg. It is worth noting that Arcax has been tested by Japanese regulators, who deemed the system safe enough for potential buyers, and the robot is available for purchase at a price of $2.7 million. Engineers from the Korea Advanced Institute of Science and Technology, in collaboration with Rainbow Robotics, have developed the mobile humanoid robot FX2. When it comes to piloted humanoid robots, it is usually implied that the pilot will be in a cabin at a sufficiently high height. Korean engineers took a different approach in their development, opting for an open seat design. Instead of a closed cabin, the mobile humanoid robot FX2 is equipped with a pilot seat that is not enclosed by a safety frame. Apparently, the developers decided that due to the low height of the seat, which is less than 2 meters above the ground, a helmet would be sufficient. At the moment, FX2 is unlikely to serve as a fully-fledged, widely used means of transportation. However, as shown in the video, it is capable of moving together with a person sitting in it. The robot also has two arms with a degree of freedom comparable to human arms, featuring joints in the shoulders, elbows, and wrists, as well as all the phalanges on the five fingers of each hand. The pilot controls both the robot's movement and the manipulators using two joysticks, including the movement of individual fingers of the robot's hands. Japan also created a giant robot for military purposes. Japanese engineer Sakaki Bara Kikai demonstrated the Landwalker robot at his gummy factory, standing at 3.4 meters tall. The design resembles a bipedal exoskeleton robot with a cockpit and two cannons mounted on its arms, firing rubber bullets that can be replaced with other weapons as needed. 
The robot was invented by engineer Masaki Nagumo and was intended for military use, although it has not been deployed for its intended purpose yet. However, this is not the only creation of engineer Sakakibara Kikai. One of his latest inventions is the bipedal robot Landwalker Mononofu, an 8.5-meter giant weighing more than 7 tons, assembled in the village of Shinto. The robot is armed with a cannon that shoots rubber bullets, which can be replaced with any other weapon if necessary. The robot is controlled by a person who has a separate cabin. Unfortunately, the robot has several significant drawbacks, primarily related to its sluggish movements. The giant's maximum speed does not exceed 1 km per hour or 25 centimeters per second. After the presentation of the robots, the Japanese military showed interest in them, but unfortunately, these machines have not yet found practical application. In the near future, these giants may find a place in the Japanese armed forces, but engineers still need to work on improving the technical potential of the robots. Currently, Masaki Nagumo rents out his robots for around $930 per hour, and they are eagerly booked for various parties and events. Military robots are being developed at the Korean Institute of Industrial Technology, aiming to replicate the mobility, stability, and endurance of the Boston Dynamics Big Dog robot. This robot is powered by hydraulic actuators and is designed to navigate to specified coordinates, autonomously assess the terrain, and adjust its gait accordingly. Additionally, the Institute is working on a robot tank capable of serving as border patrol, reconnaissance, and security personnel in unmanned mode. The robot is equipped with cameras, a microphone, and a speaker for communication and identity verification of potential intruders. It can also be equipped with a machine gun and a wide range of other weapons. The robot tank reaches speeds of up to 50 kilometers per hour and can cover 20 to 30 kilometers in a shift, depending on the complexity of road conditions. Interestingly, all six wheels of the robot can rotate 360 degrees. There are real-world examples of artificial intelligence being used for military purposes. The northern borders of South Korea are guarded by SGR A1 Sentry robots, automated machine gun towers developed by Samsung and controlled by artificial intelligence. This system is considered the first of its kind, integrating observation, tracking, shooting, and voice recognition capabilities. South Korea began presentations of new unmanned ground vehicles developed by the local industry, unveiling the unmanned transporter Aryan Smet at a U.S. military base near Seoul. Aryan Smet is a compact unmanned transporter measuring about 3 meters in length and 1.5 meters in width, performing tasks typical of unmanned vehicles of this type. The main features of the Korean transporter include a range of at least 100 kilometers, with the manufacturer claiming it may go even further depending on external factors. The maximum speed ranges from 34 kilometers per hour to 43 kilometers per hour, depending on the type of terrain it travels. The payload capacity is 550 kilograms. The Hanwha Aerospace Project aims for Arian to transport wounded personnel and military cargo, such as ammunition, medical supplies, consumables, and more. Developers have designed it for tasks like reconnaissance, surveillance, as well as remote search operations. Write in the comments which of the robots shown in this video impressed you the most. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the Caro Show channel. Also check out our previous videos. See you next time.